All right, my name is Roger Cullen. I'm going to tell you a story that happened to me when I was 18 years old and I almost died. But before I tell you this story, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It's really important. People, uh, people, people have been watching my channel, but they haven't been subscribing to it. Seriously, it's really important to me. And most importantly is that you leave a message, leave a comment. And yeah, tell me if you've learned any new expression or something from this video. It's going to help me a lot and really, it really motivates me when people say, Oh, I've learned something from your videos. That's all I want to hear from you. That, I'm, that I've been able to help you somehow. So, um, when I was 18 years old, I had a girlfriend and she was really crazy. Uh, and I was crazy too, of course. And we decided to go to a place with many waterfalls. Okay, so... We googled it and we saw that there was a, a little place in the countryside that was perfect for us to go. But the problem is, um, the place was really off the beaten track, so there wasn't really a bus straight to the place. So we had to, we decided to go hitchhiking, which is okay. So we went with our tent and everything on our bags, on our traveler's back, bags, and we went on hitchhiking to get to the place. Of course, we got some buses and tr public transportation, but there was a moment that there was no transportation for us to get like public transportation or whatever so we needed to get some some rides on the road which is fine there was a moment that there was only forest and it happened here in Brazil yeah only forest and nobody else was passing by on the road so we decided to go walking and according to Google it would take us a long time to get to the spot of the waterfalls if you want to know exactly where the place is just leave me a message and I'll tell you exactly where it happened but I'm gonna focus on the story itself so I went to this place with this girl so we went inside the woods and we, we were walking a lot we had to walk for around five kilometers inside the woods inside the forest to get to the waterfall that we had found on Google and it was the first time that we w went out to camp so we had no experience we had taken some noodles with us and that's it a long story short, we walked a lot to get to the place. We got to the place, we set up the tent and everything. We stayed there for for the night because it was already already very late. So we stayed there for the night and it was okay, it was perfect. But then it started raining like crazy. And I was like, okay, we are inside the tent. So, okay, it's really annoying because I'd like to go out and explore the, the woods, you know, the forest, but fine. I wasn't complaining, I was with my girlfriend. So... You know, I'm not going to tell you, but we played a lot of chess, yeah, no, whatever. And when it was morning, I, I got a little bit worried because it was not only raining naturally, it was a big storm, and there was a lot of wind too, and it was like, hmm, concerning, but it was okay. We had enough food to stay there, we had bread and cookies and stuff, so I thought, okay, if we can't leave the, the tent today, we're just going to feed on the cookies and the bread, and everything's gonna be fine. All right, that's what I thought. But then, something drastic happened and you won't imagine what happened. It kept on raining. It kept on raining like crazy and I was like, come on, come on. Something terrible is gonna happen. The rain was so strong that it destroyed the tent. Like, it, the tent went down. So we went up a rock. There was a big rock nearby. And we went up the rock. We climbed up the rock and then we were there, but the water was coming up and up and up and up and it reached our feet. And we were just there hugging. We were really wet and it was really cold. And the water reached our ankles. And then after some time, the water got to our shins and we thought, oh my God. And my girlfriend back then couldn't swim. So she was really crying saying, I'm going to die here because look the water is gonna take us away and I don't know how to swim and I was like I was joking I was cracking jokes because you know me even in drastic moments I crack jokes and I remember that she was really bummed out with me she was really pissed off with me because she was like come on you're not taking it seriously we're about to die and then I said no come on we're not gonna die you know we're not gonna die I'm here to protect you I can swim but then it stopped raining so heavily it was just drizzling all day then somebody uh, from afar, I couldn't even see the person. The person screamed, If you stay there, you're gonna die. It's gonna rain a lot more later. And I was trying to look for the origin of their voice and I couldn't find the, the guy. And I was, I said, I know, we're gonna die. And the guy screamed back, I'm gonna ask for help. Stay there. And I screamed back, Yeah, we're gonna stay here, alright. 
So we just stayed there. And the water was going up and up and up and I, don't, I couldn't understand why the water was going up because it wasn't raining heavily anymore, it was just drizzling. But I was like there, you know, just cracking jokes and stuff and my, my girl was really pissed. I was trying to make her feel better but, but apparently she wanted me to have a different behaviour, a different attitude. All I could do was crack jokes and just, you know, try to entertain her with my stories and with my warmth. Um, and the water was going up and up and it reached our knees and I was like oh let's try to swim so and she was really desperate because we were trying to swim to get to another place because there was a higher rock 10 meters away and I said oh we just have to swim for 10 meters and to get to that rock over there and she was like I can't swim man so I tried to carry her on my back but she was kind of suffocating me you know and it was impossible to really to swim there I, we lost equipment and everything the guy said that he would help us, but he has disappeared. We're going to have to do something because we're not going to survive. We could see that the clouds were really dark and really, like, black. It would rain much, much more that night. And I was kind, I was really concerned. I was really thinking, mm, this is it. This is my demise. This is how I will die. But I didn't tell my girlfriend back then because I was trying to make her feel confident, like saying, no. Everything's going to be okay. The guy screamed that he was going to look for help. He's going to be here at any minute. But no, help only came after 10 hours. And it was really crazy. It was really crazy because it wasn't like common help. It was a helicopter. So we saw a helicopter coming down and there was a, a firefighter coming down with a rope, you know, with a rope, no, with a kind of a ladder and rope. So he went down, he, he tied us up and pulled us up to the helicopter and then the helicopter went to a safe spot and released us and yeah, so that's it. In a nutshell, uh, we were saved and rescued by firefighters and I asked, oh, who called, who called you? And the guy said, oh, so a local guy from here called us, but he wasn't there. And I tried to locate this guy to thank him and, and all, but no, I couldn't really track him down. I couldn't really find him. Uh, they said, oh, his name is Geronimo or something. I found out his name was Geronimo. And then I, when it was sunny the other day, I went out to the city and I tried to find this Geronimo guy. I was asking people about Geronimos and yeah, there were some Geronimos, but then I had to travel to another city to, to find this Geronimo guy who helped me. Um, but no, I didn't do that. But if you're watching this video, Geronimo, thank you very much for calling the, the firefighters. It was really, really helpful. And that's why I'm here alive, teaching English for free to many people. And so thank you very much for watching this video. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, like our page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. And please watch my next video. Thank you so much. See you later. Eu vim aqui te dar um recado. Eu vou lançar meu curso gratuito de inglês, mas não conta pra ninguém. Mentira, conta pra todo mundo. E é um curso realmente gratuito de inglês. Eu vou te ensinar nesse curso tudo isso aqui. Ou seja, muita matéria, não vai dar tempo de enrolação, não vai dar tempo de nada, não vou nem tentar te enrolar. E não é igual aqueles cursos gratuitos que sempre você faz e aí alguém tá te vendendo coisas durante o curso, não. Durante as aulas eu não vou vender absolutamente nada, eu vou te enviar as aulas em vídeo. Além disso, você vai poder treinar comigo, diretamente comigo, então eu também vou te enviar links secretos, mas só pra quem se inscrever nesse curso. Então vai ser um curso de verdade, que eu vou ensinar inglês de verdade, totalmente gratuitamente. Então se você for iniciante de inglês, aproveita, é contato direto comigo nos nossos grupos secretos que só quem se inscreve vai receber. Para mais detalhes, clica no link da minha bio. Mas quem é você? My name is Rod Kala, I'm an English teacher, I'm a certified teacher, and I'm here to help you learn English the best way possible and for free. So it's your opportunity to learn English in 2021. We are in 2021. Spot on.